And now we need to talk about the teams that impressed us the most today. I got lots of things I got to say about Penn State. Booty Ball is alive and well. T.O., before we do that, the Duke Blue Devils. We heard we just talked about two upsets. Everybody was picking Oral Roberts to upset Duke. And you know what happened? Duke jumped out to like a 13 to nothing lead. Oral Roberts didn't score until there were eight minutes gone. And I don't, I don't know even know what the final score was, but I'll tell you this. They matter. were down by 30 at one point in the second half, <laughs> Oral Roberts was. That was a paddling. That was a molly whopping. That was really impressive from the Blue Devils. A paddling. I like that. I used to get paddles in middle school. People don't get paddles anymore. That's a damn shame. <laughs> yeah, but paddle. How about the defensive? Uh, how about the defensive show today by Duke Max Asmus, who's been great for God knows how long, about as long as Kihei Clark. Like they've been in college for a long time. What do you end up with? Twelve points. They limited him with length. Derek Lively, guys. We were kind of waiting to see like what he was going to be at this level, like because we all know he's going to go somewhere else next year. He's going to go to the draft. All this, that, and the third. But man, defensively, he has to have he has to have scouts salivating. He's switching, he's blocking shots, he's staying in front of guards. It's ridiculous what he's been able to do. And not only that, he can cover a ball screen and recover so damn fast that Vanover goes one for six from three. That length on that Duke team, I got him in the Final Four. I still feel pretty good about it. I know they're right close to Purdue. They're going to have to beat Purdue to get there if Memphis doesn't beat Purdue. But we're going to get to that. Here's the thing. There's enough there now, and John Shire has done such a good job piecing this team together and putting them in roles where they can benefit offensively that they are really dangerous right now. And it's because they've leaned on their defense mm -hmm. all season long, and now you see both of them come together. People say complimentary football all the time. It drives me crazy. This was complimentary basketball. They just do the both, and, and now they're dangerous and really dangerous at that. Mm -hmm. yeah, Shire said it preseason, right? We got to hang our hat on, on our defense. Uh, but again, you could say that all you wanted, but until Derek Lively became the Derek Lively that Rob and I saw back on the AU circuit. And it just, it took him a while, whether it was injuries, whether it was just kind of acclimating himself, but man, he's bought into his role. That's the biggest thing. He's not trying to be something that he's not, right? He's not out there jacking threes. He's not out there demanding the ball. He is dominating the game on the defensive end. And then all the other guys, Jeremy Roach was good. Isaiah Whitehead's good. Proctor's gotten better. Filipowski's Filipowski. They got enough on the offensive end as well. Man, was Duke impressive today. Hey guys, just a reminder, our sponsor for today's episode is Run Your Pool. They are hosting the Field of 68 Bracket Challenge. This year, they are giving away $1,500 in free prizes. It's all an incentive for you to get on there and find out just how good their platform is. I've been using them for my bracket pools for years. I've used them for Super Bowl squares. I use them for everything that I need to use them for. The biggest survivor pool that I'm in for both NFL and NCAA tournament is by Run Your Pool. So go check them out. The link's below. Tap in. Yeah, the uh, Derek Whitehead. You said uh, you said Isaiah Whitehead. That oh, was uh, you, you made Dagan Hughes, our producer, cry just a little bit when you were saying that. That was back when Seton Hall was still good. Um, I to Ooh. me, look, it, it's two things with Duke that really stood out to you. I want to I want to toss this to you real quick. You got about a minute on it. Derek Whitehead was five for seven from the floor, three for three from three, scored thirteen points, and came off the bench and was yeah. busting his ass. Uh, Jeremy Roach came into this game or came into this season expecting to be the star point guard, expecting to prove uh, he had a chance to get to the NBA as a point guard, played off the ball, nine for 17 from the floor, hit a three, four for four from the free throw line, uh, one turnover in 37 minutes, scored 23 points. To me, it is those two, those two guys accepting the role that is best for the team, even if it's not the role that is best for them. Yeah, that's a two-parter because the reason I say that is, one, you got to have guys that are willing to accept that role. And I think Jeremy Roach, that way it was much easier for him to do that. And then Derek Whitehead kind of fell into that because of some of the injuries, and he just was better suited coming off the bench. But it's a credit to Shire, man. Role definition is so important. And a lot of people were talking about Tyrese Proctor and how much potential he had. They started off the season – uh, Proctor was at the two, Roach was at the one. Now, Roach can be more uh, aggressive, and Proctor can be that setup guy that lets the game come to him a little bit more after he lets the ball go. Mm -hmm. The way he's picked apart his own roster, 
and put those guys in position and the way they've continuously adapted says a lot about John and Duke's future guys says a lot about Duke's future. We were wondering how this was going to go in year one. And a lot of times it takes guys to figure takes guys time to figure themselves out. This was pretty good. Now counterpoint, is he going to be able to get guys that are willing to buy in as much as those guys have this year in some of these future recruiting classes? That's the part that's going to be difficult. But goodness me, when it all falls together, they are as impressive as anybody on a night where Filipowski had six points on two of seven shooting. Mm-hmm. 